Bit shift right, working with BSR instruction. Okay, bit shift right. The bit shift right behaves much like the bit shift left, except the direction is different. And the loading point where it loads the bit address is at the end of the length instead of the beginning of the length. And it shifts to the right towards the boundary of your length. With a length of 10 right here, and I see that I have a bit here set to clear that. We're working with B315. Turn on input 5 and toggle it once. The length is 10. And so in, instead of loading it here, it loads it at the 10th bit instead of the first bit. So with the bit shift left, it loads it at the least significant point of the length, and then it shifts it to the left. With the bit shift right, it loads it at the most significant bit of the length and then shifts it to the right. I In, in the manual, I had you uh, do the same thing with the BSR as you did with the BSL, and that is shift it once with nothing but zero in the bit address. And it said, did any bits change in the three register displayed, B3, 16, 17, or 18? The answer is no. Why? The default of zeros don't change unless the bit address is 1. Flip the switch associated with the bit address on the BSR to the on position while watching the file address. Toggle input 0 once. Did the bits change? Yes. Which ones? The one you're looking at right now. A 1 loaded at bit 9, the 10th bit, the most significant bit of the length. Clear any bits that are not 0, so we'll set this back to 0. Change the length to 5. So we'll go up here, change this to 5. Do the same thing again. I toggle to 1 in, and notice that it loaded at the 5th bit of the length. 0, zero 1, 2, 3, 4, or you can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you see that it's going to load it at the most significant bit of the length. Clear any bits that are not 0. Change the length to 17. With input 5 on, toggle input 0 once. And you see it loaded it at bit 0 of B316. Because the length is 17, it includes all 16 of these bits, and then the next highest up. Because remember, it's loading from upstream in the memory array. So it loaded at B3160. Shift 1 to the right one more time. Where did it shift to? You can see it went from B3 16 bit 0 to the next least significant bit in memory which is B315 bit 15. If you were to change the length to 33, real easy, just click on length 33, enter. Uh, we'll change this to back to zero. Not necessary, but just keeps the screen clean. What address would the bit address be loaded into each time the BSR saw a false to true transition? Well, it's real easy to do. Set input five to one, toggle it one time. And you can see that it loaded into B3170, which is the, we're talking about a length of 33, so it includes all 16 of B315 plus 16 bits of B316, and 1 in B317 makes 33. In both the BSL and BSR, when the length exceeds 16 bits, meaning the, the length boundary exceeds one word, the shift includes the next register in the data file in the same direction that the bit is shifting. I put down true because I wrote the question. And in this case, this is where we're shifting from. So it, and we're going to go to the right. So to the right of B317 is B316. To the right of B316 is B315. So it's a matter of wording here and not necessarily 
a lack of understanding how these instructions work. Okay, next thing we did is we used the unload bit. This next little piece, we had you modify your logic as shown. I pulled a quick one on myself here. I used a different register, B317 instead of B315. So when I went to test this, I had latch B317.9, but I was using B315 as my file. You know that did not work. Anyway, so what I'm going to have you do is turn on input 5. That's your bit address. Toggle input 0 once, and now you have a 1 right here at bit 9. Okay? I'll uh, click someplace else so this isn't highlighted. So this is now the most significant bit of your length. So um, sometimes when you click on these, because the zeros all fall in the same position, you won't notice that you've actually shifted your range of words over here. So I thought that it disappeared. There it is, right there, B317. So you got to be watched where you're clicking. I clicked here, and it did move my focus, but it also shifted the words up. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so there's our one right there at bit 9. Now, I told you to shift it, and notice that it moves right on through. We're at the end. We're at the boundary, the least significant bit. One more should turn the unload bit on and see what else it does. We use the unload bit to latch B317.9. So you see that when it left here, theoretically it ended up back over here. So this is a behavior. You're not actually moving this one from here to here. This a 1 was unloaded into bit space, turned on the unload bit, it latched B317.9. Remember, this has got a, a true execution and no false execution, so as long as the unload bit is on, that's latched. On my next shift, notice that the unload bit goes off, but we also shift a 0 into B317.9 from the left. So in other words, we shifted this zero over to here. That cleared that value. So if you watch this one go through there, it goes back to 9876543210 So it circulates, recirculates. Not rocket science, but a way that you can use the bit shift right instruction. Okay, the questions were, how many shifts does it take to move the bit from bit zero position all the way around and back to the zero position? Well, let's count them. So we turn on a, well, we got it in bit nine right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just what you'd expect, the length, right? Which is equal to the length. And again, the only reason we did these labs on shift registers is because the chances of you encountering these in somebody else's code is pretty good because there's an installed base out there of millions of PLCs going all the way back to PLC2. Matter of fact, I think there's still some card logic that came before the original PLC. Card logic was a product Alan Bradley had, and I think they still use it in railroad diesel locomotives. However, you won't be using this software with those. The point is, there's a lot of installed base out there that you're going to have to deal with that were written before they had a lot of these uh, more advanced instructions and capabilities.